Hello arty friends, it's Lee here. Welcome back to my channel. So thank you to all my um, lovely followers who tune in all the time. Uh, really appreciate you all. So welcome back and a big welcome and hello to anyone who might be here for the first time. Now if you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up button as it helps my video to get recommended to other people. So you can do that right at the beginning if you like, or you can wait till a bit longer, but yeah, I'd really love it if you could do that. It would really help me out. So, so let's get on with what we're going to do. So I've got my 9 by 12 played out today. I thought I'd have a play with this one. I think it's 9 by 12. Oh no, it's not quite. It's 11 a quarter by 9 and a quarter. I have some rice paper here, which is smooth on one side, rough on the other. And I'm going to make my prints on that. I went out and raided my garden today and got some things that I thought might make a nice impression on the plate. Um, I don't know whether they'll work or not, whether I can get them flat enough on the plate. The other thing I have is some lavender leaves. I have some geranium leaves, so they make a nice imprint on the plate. I don't know what this is called, but the leaves are nice. Um, I've got a bit more of this, which is the fresh leaves off one of my trees, which is called Summer, summer Scent. Some colas leaves and a bit of flower, so that's started to go to seed, so it's got flower. My husband was over at my neighbour's house yesterday and he got some fern leaves for me. So I'll be using a couple of them, but I'll have to cut them down to size. But the first thing I need to do is make some backgrounds. So if you're here today, um, are you starting out as a jelly printer or have you been doing it for a while? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I want some nice bright backgrounds and I've got this structure paint here. Um, I want to I want to use it up. It's a brilliant color, but oh my goodness. See, <laughs> see live action. The struggles real. Went through and um, some of my paints that are quite thick, I um, added some flow medium to them. So this plate's a little bit dinged up because it had a piece of paper on it that had creases in it so it's a little wobbly at the end there. Uh, I might put a bit of water in, a uh, bit of water, a bit of yellow on that. So these are some of the paints I watered down with some flow medium because they were quite thick and difficult to squeeze out of the bottle. I wonder if they're going to do the same thing. Nope. They don't seem to be any thinner though. I'm just going to mix that in. So we're off to a flying start. <laughs> flying with paint flying everywhere. That's the only thing. I don't think that's going to look very nice. Maybe it will. So shiny side down. I'm pretty much going to pull that up straight away. I'm just going to push my fingers down into those dints. I might, if it's too um, noticeable on the prints, I'll turn the plate over. Might be an idea because it has got a couple of dints in it. So that's that one. That's really wet. That. Okay. After the next one, I'm going to, or well, once I get this paint off, I'm going to turn that over. So I'm going to put some of that yellow on there and then I have this yellow which is deep yellow. So this got a treatment as well. Yeah, that's coming out really nice. That was really blobby that one. So let's see how well this will spread now. Sometimes it's quite astonishing what paint mixes don't work together. Now that, this one is Af um, Australian Red Violet. So judging by the brownness that it, uh, you know in the appearance of that paint I would imagine that it has a certain amount of blue in it because when you mix red yellow and blue together you get brown 
That's all right. One thing I didn't bring over here with me was some white. So let's get some of that. Just pull this off. That's a bit better, that colour. And just pop that to the side to dry. I'm just going to use another sheet. I've got this one to get some of that residual paint off there. looking not bad on that this was um like a cleanup piece from the previous session that's not bad funny how these turn out sometimes to be the best the bestest of the prints so let's flop that over to that side the side is smooth okay so I've got some white to mix in now <coughs> I've got some turquoise whoops way too much paint obviously I um, thinned that one that, that apple in there I think I'll just leave it at that It's quite a nice dark, um, thick layer of paint that I've got on here. Okay, so shiny side down. Try and smooth it out, don't want any wrinkles in it. Yep, that's a good one. I'm going to put this bath mat thing down on here. Press it in. See if I can get a bit of an imprint on that. From that, I should say. Don't know whether it'll work or not. And I'm just going to put this over it because I'm not going to keep this one. This is ugly. And it's not properly dry, that's why it's wrinkling up. So, it was ugly before, but it's even more ugly now. But anyway, <laughs> I can add more stuff to it and it will be, it'll become beautiful. It'll be like a swan, and not an ugly duckling. Put that over there. I want a dark blue. So I've got some Prussian blue. I'm going to put some of this on. Spread that around. I want some of that. I want, uh, I want a little bit of this yellow. And a little bit of the turquoise. Uh, I'm not used to using this big plate because I've been using an 8x10 and um, so I was just guessing how much paint I would need obviously put too much on previously I'm just going to put a bit of white into that so when you're learning to do gel jelly prints I mean and I'm, I'm no expert definitely no expert all I'm doing is sharing the knowledge that I've got just from playing and that's the best way to learn how to do it is to play and if you don't want to waste your good paper then print on other stuff to start with until you you get the hang of it like even just copy paper if you went and got a ream of cheap copy paper that'll be fine to begin with oh magazines old letters, book pages, everything will work. So that Prussian blue is a bit goopy there, but that's quite a nice 
background. Pop that over there. Now I want some purple. I'll be careful how I get squeeze this because this one's been watered down. Now I did hear someone say, and I don't know who it was, that you can't take the lids off these Liquitex paints. But I had no problem. Like this one, most of them screwed off, and there was only one that I found that I couldn't screw off, and it just, you know, popped off. So it was just um, pressed on, you know, like, and it just popped, popped straight off. Um, I'll put a bit of cerulean in, in that. Oops. Let's see what colour we get from this. That looks nice. I don't want to mix those colours together too much. I'd like them to be distinct from each other. So that thing. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I want the colours to be distinct. Shiny side down. Oh. Get the wrinkles out. Not that these wrinkles matter too much at this stage because this is the um, background. So that's a nice one. What can I put on top of that? Maybe a bit of this, which is Queen Magenta. And a little bit of this yellow. So I'm going to mix the magenta over here first. In a couple of places. Now I'll do the yellow. Because I don't want the yellow and the red and the glue to mix together. They can a little bit. one and I'll just do one more to get rid of that paint and I'll just pick it up with the sand color straight over the top of this bird and I need another piece just to get that bit might have to leave that on there for a couple of minutes just to get the resid residue off I mean, there can be a little bit left on there, it don't, that doesn't matter too much. Let's see how that goes. Well, that's, that's a nice print, nice background, I like that. Okay, so let's start using some of these leaves and things. I'm going to use some raw sienna. Get it to come out. Oh, came out all right. It's too much paint there. 
Uh, it won't matter too much though because I'm going to be pressing the, the, the foliage into that and a little bit of this cad yellow. Oh, got to get used to these paints coming out so fast because they didn't before. It's going to take a little bit of that away. not working properly. Let's use the bigger one. Okay, so I'm going to use some of the fern. try one of these to go up that way don't know how that's going to go and something up there it's a, a cola sleeve in there and another one this side I'm putting the rib side down except on those ferns so I've got a piece of paper um, I want one of my prints backgrounds Mm, it's still a little bit wet. I'm not sure about using that. I'm going to use a, a fresh piece just to take a, the excess paint away. So what I'm going to do is just push down, pushing the leaves into the paint and the paper down onto the plate to try and get out all the paint that's in between the leaves and around them. up and have a look. I'm going to take that off, put a hole in it. So I've got a hole in my paper there. Okay, so I'm going to take them off and then put the paper back down. You get that nice imprint. I'm glad I didn't do that onto one of my base, my backgrounds, because I would have been a little bit upset. Have a look at this. Okay, so that's really nice, isn't it? Got the um, the leaf imprint there. It's not real clear, but it's fine. And I can put that aside and wait for it to dry, and then I can print something else over the top of it. Alrighty, so let's get some of these prints done. And I've got this dark green, so I want to use some of that. I suppose I should show you what <laughs> the backgrounds are, but I've already got the paint on there now, haven't I? So i um, worry about that later on. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to put a little bit of this purple on there as well. Okay, spread that around. Does that need white? I reckon it wouldn't hurt to have a little spot of white in there. And I do mean just a spot. 
or two. Your mum. That'll do. Yeah, that's nice. That just changes it, doesn't it? It's beautiful, that combination of colours. Alrighty. I had to um, just let the, the um, prints dry, the background prints. So I'm going to go in with that. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to take a couple of these out. I reckon there's too many there. It's just not, it's too crowded or something. There's not enough paint getting down inside in between the leaves. So we'll see how that goes anyway. So I won't do it to this one. I'll just leave that as is. Now I'm going to put the colas leaf on. Another one there. And I've got a little sprig of this that can go up there. Try and stop them from overlapping themselves. And then what have I got? Some more of that. Down that way. I've put them on the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to use this particular one. Sorry about that sunshine. I have moved the desk a little bit so my plate's not in the sun. But um, it should pass away soon. I really need to get a little curtain on this window. It doesn't matter where I put my desk. I have a problem with the sunshine at some point of in the day. Okay, so let's just have a little sneaky peek at what's happening here. All right. To press that down a bit. There. There. So what I'm going to do is take that off so I get that impression of the leaf, all the veins and everything. In there. So you can see what that's done. Maybe on this one too. It would have been better if I'd met, remembered to put the other ones up the right way. Oh no, we have some stuckage. Take that off. I'll just see what's underneath the fern, whether it's worth putting that on. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Have a look. Yeah, okay. I pulled it off, so we'll go with it. And I'll leave the other ones on there because I'm not that keen on it. So that's, you now you can see what I'm talking about with the not enough gaps. You can't tell what that is. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put that to the side. What I have here is just a piece of book page that I was using for something else. I'm just going to... No, I'm not. It's too small. Okay, take all that back. Okay, so I've got them all off. I want to pick that up, so I'm going to put some paint down so I can get them off. I wonder if I can get that. There's a bit of wet paint there. I'll see if I can get it to go back on the plate. Yeah, it did actually. Okay, so that should make a good print. Just need it to dry a little bit though. Um, with something to flap over the top of it. There we go, a piece of cardboard. Got that bit of paper stuck there. need that to be dry so that I can put another colour over the top because if I don't it's just going to um, mix all together and be horrible. So while I'm flapping with multitask here, flap and go through my prints. Let's see what I might want to do something with. Okay so I've got this one that's really really gross. 
This is that, that one, so that's ugly as. I'm going to use that and I'm going to put a gold over that I think. Or metallic of some sort. I'm hoping that's dry enough. I have got this gold. I'm going to use that. nice put it in the sunlight you can see all the gold on there so I really like that now so it, um, if you get something ugly don't throw it away until you've had another go at um, seeing if you can get it to look nice again so pop that up to the side now and there's still some good stuff there I want to pick up so I'm going to use the sand color pick that up just take a piece of paper out of this pad that's sitting over here and I haven't spread the paint around because uh, it'll dry fast as soon as it's spread so I've got a piece of paper ready now I can spread my paint and hopefully pick up all that goodness that's on there maybe need a little bit more paint should be enough I can't tell you how much fun this is to do, like not everything turns out great, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's just use one of these to pick that up, those edgy bits. Um, yeah, it's just so much fun, so much fun. And it's not wasting paper, it's not wasting paint, you know, it's um, you're creating something that you can use later on. Ooh, still a bit more paint there. Let's see if we can get that. Most of it. Okay, so this is a really quite a thick piece of paper. I need to really press down. I'm going to have to leave that. Okay, should be able to pull that up now. Doesn't look like there's too much there. I can see a little bit of that here. But over this side, yeah, there's more. There's more on this side. You can just see that fern, just see that fern. I've got this and over here. Okay, so not the greatest, so that can go back on the pile to have some more work done on it. Now, let me have a look what I've got here. So, these ones will look nice with some orangey stuff on the top of them. look at the fern leaves that I had and I've got found a couple that I think will work a little bit better so that's going there now I just dropped it there um, <laughs> uh, this one pop that on there 
and hopefully this will work. It's wet. So, okay, pop that one down there. Now I've got this flower. I might put that in. Go back and use a couple of these colourless leaves again. They make nice imprints. Oh, the one there. So let's go for another one here. Trying not to cover up anything around that fern. And then I've got that little one. Which isn't going to sit flat. But I can push it down. I've got that little one. And this one. Okay, so let's see what I can pick up. Try not to put a hole in the paper this time. Pushing that right down into the paint, and then I'm going to see what's there. Okay, that, that's not worth picking up unless I get rid of some of this other stuff from around it. They're really quite waxy, those leaves. Be careful here because there's a bit of water on that fern leaf, and I don't want it to wreck the paper. I suppose I could spray over it, maybe. Okay, so let's pull this off. Out of there. So I might go back and get that. It's not bad. And I'll do the same thing with this. See the difference? Should take these two off now and pick them up. It's a bit messy, it might print okay. Won't press down too hard on that one. Leave that there for a little bit. And then I've got this one. And this one. These ferns are a little bit disappointing. I'm going to have to complain to my neighbour about them. <laughs> so, you, you gave me some dud ferns. I love that flower. I'm just going to get in there a bit more. A bit more around the stem. Doesn't that look pretty? Let's see what I can pick up. And that's all the foliage off the plate. Now let's have a big reveal. Da -da -da. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not fantastic. Oh, it's dark. Sorry. I'll turn on the overhead light. We might be about to get some rain, I think. That's a bit better, isn't it? Okay, so it's not too bad. It's interesting, but it still, I think, needs something else on top of it. Okay, but it wasn't as orange as I thought it was going to turn out. So I do actually have an orange. So I'm going to put a little bit of this orange out. And this yellow. A few drops of that. Oh, 
I need to keep that green away from that orange. So, move it away. This is going to have a sort of an autumn-y look about it. down on there before it dries too much. I'll pop that there, that one there, and this one, which is up the wrong way. I did that before. That way is the way I want it. And this one. And this one. What's this going to do? It needs to be trimmed a little bit. Should work out okay. Like that. And maybe a stem of the lavender. And can I get some more out of this flower or is it past its use by date I think, but whatever, we'll put it on there. Yeah, I need to be really careful with this. Actually might cut that bit of sticky sticky bit there. Sticky as in it's like a stick, not sticky as in sticking to things. Okay, that's better. I can spread it out a bit more now. I have actually turned it up the other way, I think. Okay, so everything's nice and soft in there. Got these leaves that I just cut off. Pop them in there. Got another one. Pop that in there. I have got my turquoise piece of paper. So this should be really dynamic. Pop it down. Make sure I'm lining it up really close to the edge of the plate. So just pushing down around and through any of the leaves that have any openings. Trying to get the paint in between the leaves. some of these. Can I move it? I'm going to anyway. Just creating some gaps there. The flower doing anything I think that needs to come out of there. It's not really doing much. This is stuck because I turned it over the other way. And that's alright. Got it off. battery went flat so you didn't see me pull that off I'm not sure what you saw me doing there but that's what I've got with that so I'm going to take the leaves off nice imprint there I think that needs to come off there it doesn't have anything, like it's nothing really. So I'm just going to try and lift some of that out. Otherwise it's just going to be confusing. There. So I'm just looking to see where things are. 
That's not too bad actually. I wonder if I should just go straight out back over the top. Let's see if I can get it fairly close to the same place. Might have missed a little bit, but it still looks good. So there it is there. Not too bad. I want to get that up. So that should be just about dry. Um, what can I put over the top of that? So I have this piece of paper that I'm not that keen on. So I'm thinking if I went some of the turquoise and white. It's just a little bit wet still there. Just going to lift out some of the wet paint. And then some of the turquoise. Or maybe this ocean blue, deep ocean blue, whatever it is. If I put the, some dots of that right next to the white should make it easier to mix them together yes look at that color that's beautiful and this is going to be good i'm hoping i feel like i want to do an impression in that or something i forgot handy and if i try a bit of this bath mat it's not too wet there. It's a weird sort of pattern that it puts in there. Maybe it works better the other way. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up. leaving everything behind on the plate. So I'll just leave that for a little while, five minutes or so. Okay, it's been a few minutes, it should be dry enough to pull off. Uh, maybe not. Didn't get much. That's a fail, that one. Okay, that's, I'm not having much luck today. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, I'm just going to go straight in with some white and a bit of turquoise. find another one that that's too close so maybe those this on here would be all right so I'm just going to put that on there spread out the leaves a little bit got the lavender give it a bit of a reshape might be putting that um, flower back on but I will put that on there, try and stop it from closing up. Uh, got some other leaves here that should work, that one. So if I, on this one, if I take this off the front then I've got the three big leaves there this is a bit knobbly here um, let's 
So that could go something like that. Don't know whether that's going to stay there. And how about... Those. And one of them. Okay, so I'm going to put this over, the yellow. Let's see how we go. Didn't quite get it to the edge of the paper, unfortunately, but never mind. up a lot of the paint. I'm not sure why. Whether it's not enough paint on there. I don't know. Turn that around. Maybe there was too much paint. Yeah, oh, that's turned out all right. I wouldn't say that was a fail. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. Just pop that aside to dry. Now I've got all that other stuff to pick up, and I'm thinking, no, not that one. It's too close to the same colour. Got this one. That didn't work very well. And let me just get into this, right into that lavender. See if I can get out some more of that. Take that away. Just gonna pick it out some of the paint. Oops. I'm just going to replace that because I want to try to get the paper out from in there. Oh, the paint, I should say, not the paper. So I'll push down in there. That's better. It's, oh, it's got a bit of orange on it now, so that's even better still. Okay, so up here. Get rid of that. I think that's enough off. Okay, so I'm going to put this over. not best by the look of it. Is it an improvement? Oh, that's the thing, isn't it? Let's go this way. Looking better from this side. Okay. That's not too bad. I think it sort of needs something brighter, like the gold or something on it. As in a gold and yellow paint, not gold goldy gold metallic so I might try and do something with that and I'm going to use some of this yellow green I'm just going to leave the muck that's on there there uh, a little bit of this warm gold or deep yellow deep yellow that's it need a little bit of sand And maybe a little bit of raw sienna. 
and then just a couple of little bits of white. Probably looks like there's a lot of paint there, but there's not really. It looks really nice. Okay, so let's get some leaves down. What have I got here? I'm not going to use any of that stuff. These ones, they're nice and well spaced. So then I have this thing here. Just need to get get the back ones off so that we get a good print on the front. Another leaf off that. There's a baby one there, I might as well stick that in. A couple of little ones, so I'll pop them on. And that one. Okay. And I'm going to use this one. It's got a hole in it. It doesn't matter. It's not one big hole, it's just a little hole in the corner. It's more paper than hole. Ooh. I think this is going to be nice. It would be better if I'd lined it up a bit better. Never mind. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. It's a nice colour combination. Um, it's a little bit confusing around some areas. But um, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to put that to dry. And then I've got this one. I'm going to try and get some more of this yellow paint off. came off but just enough to add a little bit more interest to that one and then I'm going to pull this off this is going to be the last one that's really nice on the plate hopefully it goes nicely onto the paper okay so I've got this one that I'm going to use and see if I can get it line it up a bit better than I did with the previous ones. Oh yeah, that's lovely. It turned out really nice. I do have a bit of a ghost print there. Um, do I want to try and get it up? I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe I could just put these leaves back on. Get a little bit more paint out of them. Let's try. Just got some over here that are still a little bit wet with paint, so can't hurt to give it a try. It's pretty much dry enough to pull. So I'm going to um, pull.
pull that with some white and purple. And I'll put a bit of um, magenta. No, this is Australian red violet, so this is the one that exploded all over the place and blue paint to the other one. It actually went across the room. Whoops, didn't mean to throw that. Okay, so let's mix this up about. That looks nice. A4 sheet of paper here that'll do. We'll use that. Just get that edge off of that bit so I'm not running my hand through it. bits of paper there. Thought it felt funny. Oh, that's nice. That's a really nice print, that one. Happy with that. Okay, so let's have a look at what I got. They're not fantastical, but they're okay. Right. So I think this is probably my favourite, that one. This one I think needs a little bit more work done on it. That's nice. Got lots of layers in there. This one's nice on this side, not so nice on that side. This one's okay. This is a hot mess, but interesting. And it might... Um, Maybe just another layer of something over the top might pull it out of the doldrums. And then we've got this one, which isn't too bad. That's it, apart from clean up sheets. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it gives you an idea of what you can do with your leaves that you find in the garden. And um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, join the channel or subscribe, it's free. And I'll see you in another video soon. So thanks for watching again. And hugs and cheers from Australia. Bye-bye. Hooroo. -bye.